I've got to get Sharon straight to these doors because you're struggling to walk. Right, drop it. Long week to the side, cut low on the other We tie it up, we just like one another She's got the figure, real lady And me and her can make some pretty babies Bring your waist round, 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 round Shake that booty down, 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 down Bring your waist round, 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 round Shake that booty down, 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 down I'm Tommy. I'm Sharon. And I'm Araya, aka. Oh, yeah. <laughs> aka Kimmy. Oh, you don't want to squeeze Kimmy anymore. Hope you guys are doing great today. Please take a minute to smash the like button and leave us a comment and let us know how you guys are doing, where you're coming from in the world. And hope you're all going to have an amazing day, whatever day of the week it is. I don't know if you guys have got the vibe yet. Um, but our Shazzy here is not very well. She hasn't been well for, I don't know, a few days now? The whole of last year, to be honest. The, well, right, this is kind of a long going, an ongoing thing, um, an ongoing problem that she, she has. So, but it's kind of, it's getting worse though, right? Yeah. So I got to tread a little bit lightly, like she wants me to do the vlog <laughs> and explaining. She was obviously not quite in the mood for talking. But obviously, I don't know if you guys, most of you guys that have been watching us for a minute will know the story of when Araya was born. The day Araya was born, um, basically cut, cut it down to a, a short story. It was a traumatic birth and Araya was pretty big. Her head, yeah, we're talking about you, right? right? Her head was pretty big and she got stuck in Sharon's hoo-ha for quite a long time. Um, she couldn't get her out. It was so say it was too late to have a C-section. That's what they say. So they said. So they had to um, deliver Araya via forceps, um, which was pretty traumatic. To literally, which I didn't want, by the way. But she said she doesn't want. Yeah. Um, I, to be honest, I said to the doctor, just just get her out there safely. Make sure they're both safe. Um, anyway, um, Sharon had a, had a, a fourth degree tear. Um, we've actually done an in-depth story about it. If you want to like look at or hear about it in more detail when you haven't done, you can scroll back about, you'd have to go back about just over a year's worth of videos and we got a video of the full birth story if you want more detail. If you're not, if not, yeah, it's traumatic, isn't it? If not, it's there in a nutshell, um, so you guys know what happened. But anyway, so, I mean, since, since her eyes been born, you haven't quite been the same, have you? walking and stuff. I could walk, but not a lot. So if I walk, I start getting a lot of pain and pressure and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the last you know, two weeks, it's just been getting worse and worse. And a few days ago, it was just bad. I can't walk properly at all now. Um, so yeah, I went to the doctors and they said, things are not looking great. Um, so I need to go to physio, but I, I don't know, I think it's more than just physio that I need. So I'm going to go today to get another opinion because I'm in agony. I can't sit properly, I can't walk properly. I'm in a lot of discomfort. Um, so that's what's happening today. I'm just going to go to the A&E department and just go and wait to be seen. Because sometimes doctors just give you that 15 minutes and you say, oh, blah, 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 that's it, go get a prescription. But it's not, I think, yeah, I'm going to just seek a sec second opinion, really. I can't even, I can't even carry a Raya at all. It's basically, it's a knock-on effect from this tear. Um, she's still in pain, she's still having problems. And... Hi. I'm... Aurora. And um, guys, sorry that I'm still in my pajamas. We're all in our pajamas. Sorry, we're all in our pajamas. Sorry. Daddy. You don't have to apologise, bruh. That's what's going on today. So, just wouldn't you guys just to pray for Sharon? 
Capri. Yes. In it, Rai Rai. So this was all you, Rai Rai. No. This was all your no. fault. No. <laughs> Do you know what? It wasn't a fault. It was a dog. Kissy. Kissy. It was the forceps. I mean, but it's one of them. Like the doctor had to make a decision. But I made my decision. I said, don't. I don't want the forceps. And still did it. So he made his decision and he messed me up. Um, I mean, I, I'm going to take a little bit of responsibility. I said to Sharon the other day, like, I was a huge, gigantic baby. Um, you on your own channel? Is that what you're saying? I think Arroyo's really out here trying to get on this vlog in life, aren't you? Yeah. I think you know what you're trying to say. Yeah. Anyway. Look, alright, what's this? What number is this? Two. Two. Yeah. Good girl. Anyway, guys, I was just trying to say, um, I, I take a little bit of responsibility for this because I was a gigantic baby. When I was born, I was 10 pounds. Um, Araya wasn't quite that big, but she was four weeks premature. She was still eight pounds, so she was still pretty big. And she was premature. And yeah, she, she, she's just big. Um, and I apologise if we're repeating ourselves. If you guys have seen, we were with us for all the pregnancy story, we are probably saying the same things again. But we've got a lot of new subs that don't know the whole story. Like I say, if you are a new sub, oh sub, excuse me, and you do want to go back and check out our pregnancy and birth journey with Araya, yeah. then please go back and do so. Um, I wish you guys could see me because we weren't on YouTube. I wish I we could. Born. I wish we could see you. Yeah, too. we didn't start the YouTube channel until you were yeah. maybe three or four. So Sharon's going to get herself uh, checked into A and E. Hopefully, see a doctor and get another opinion. And then I, I got the girls for the day whilst because Sharon could be waiting around for like what four hours or something. They're very very slow, but mm -hmm. it might be worth waiting. And yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll try and I'll try and find something to do with the, the girls. <laughs> I'll take you guys along with us and hopefully you know. If there are any updates after Sharon's back from the hospital, we can let you guys know. Guys. Prayers for Sharon in the in the comments section and stick with us for the ride. Hi. 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 <laughs> uh, Who's on the phone? Uh, who's on the phone? Is it Dada? Dada. Oh, it's Dada. Am I Dada. on the phone? What's up, guys? So I'm just about to get dropped off right now. Um. At the hospital. At the hospital. Hopefully, yeah. I won't be waiting too long. Yeah, that's another thing to pray for Sharon. Mm. Really, she's not waiting too long. Because sometimes, if you go to A and E, you could be waiting for a long, a time. long time. Yes, um, I literally feel like I've been in hospital constantly for the last two years. Well, you haven't in a while, but yeah. Before yeah. This, yeah. It's been constant. So. Guys, just pray for my body, pray for my health and everything. Because it takes a toll on you. Yeah, I think everything's going to be okay. I think, I don't know why it's just all of a sudden affecting you so bad, but let's hope they can kind of shed some light on it today and I don't know. Yeah. Is there anything they can do? Let's see, anyway. What? See y'all later. Here we go. All right, babe, love you. Love you too. I can't reach. You can have to. Love you. Love you, babe. Love you, Rory Cakes. Love you, babe. Hope things are right. Call us when you're done. Yeah, I will do. I've got to get Sharon straight to these doors because you're struggling to walk. You alright? Do you want me to get out and. Oh, it's alright, it's alright. Sure. Bye, Kimmy. Alright. Bye, Rora. Rora. Right. See you later. Alright, love you loads. Call us, let us know how you're getting on. Okay, bye. Love you. See you, bye. Bye. All right, guys, we're off. Sharon is at the hospital, and we're gonna go and try and keep ourselves busy for the day. So we just pulled up at uh, TK Maxx. TK Maxx of all places, for our daddy-daughter's date. Whee! So yeah, Aurora's complaining that she's cold. It is pretty chilly, actually. So we're gonna get inside. Um, you say it's not. What do you guys think of the fits? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, how do you guys feel about um, TK Maxx? 
how do you guys feel about it? I think it's TJ Max in other countries, but it's TK Max here, it's the same place. It's one of them, yeah? I've got a love-hate relationship with it. Sometimes, occasionally, you'll go in and you'll find like some good brands for a good price, but nine times out of 10, you just it's just gonna be like garbage, so. I still go in here quite often, just on the off chance, but Whoa. most times when I come in, it is disappointing. Yeah, Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> We've just seen something pretty scary, actually. It's just a dinosaur. It's, uh, I don't know if I can get a, there's, a, there's actually a dinosaur in here. Oh, there's a dinosaur waving at you. Have a good day. Give him the best job today, then. <laughs> <laughs> Kimmy, <laughs> she likes lifts. You need to take a nap, Kimmy. Floor one. There's no music. What, what, what beat you dance to? Doors Kimmy? opening. There we go. I know Aurora's going to want to go straight to the toy section, aren't you? Yeah. I think it's a little bit small, though. Ah. Hi. <laughs> Hi, you got a hat, a hat. Is it too small for you? See, that would be good. That would be good for taking on holiday, but it's 12 months, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it's a bit small for you, Rai Rai. See if they've got any bigger sizes. So TK Maxx, it wasn't a complete waste of time, was it, Roy Cakes? We did actually find a couple of bargains, so we got a little tracksuit for Rai Rai, we got a, um, a champion hoodie for Aurora and I actually got a pair of jeans. We got a good, good bargain, so I'm not complaining. Daddy Dora's date, we got burritos, me and Aurora got burritos. Done with our daddy daughter day. I haven't heard any news from Sharon. The last news I heard from Sharon was a good couple of hours ago now, and she's had some bloods taken, I guess, to check for an infection. Um, that's about all I know so far. So it's been quite a few hours since we dropped her off, and yeah, that's the only news that she's had bloods taken and she's waiting for the results. So I don't really know what's going on. She hasn't seen a doctor yet, but she's seen a nurse and they've taken blood, so I don't know. But I do feel a little bit guilty we're out here like enjoying a daddy daughter day and poor Sharon's stuck inside a hospital spending her Sunday in a hospital so but it is what it is we can't all be waiting in the hospital with her so and it's better she gets herself checked out anyway just to see what yeah because it's better because like, if you're not well um because like it's better if you go and go to the doctors or hospital just because you have to see what's wrong with you of course yeah so, oh. You want to go home? Me too, or I would literally love to just go home right now and take a nap. But if we don't do our food grocery shopping now, we don't have groceries for the week. And the thing is, guys, um, our, our, our supermarket shut at four o'clock on a Sunday. Can you believe? Like, that really is an inconvenience. I've actually complained about this on vlogs before, okay? So I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm always complaining, but f supermarket shopping at four, shutting at four o'clock on a Sunday is a major inconvenience because it just doesn't give you much time on a Sunday to get your groceries. So yeah, but anyway, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do to change it. We need to do get the food shopping. We need to get in there. It's, it's like gone three o'clock now. We need to get in there and out in the next hour, bruh. So we are home now. Um, and look what Araya's done. All of your diapers all over the floor, bruh. Nappies. Nappies, sorry, I should say nappies. Nappies or diapers. Yeah. Um, and our chassis did spend a lot of time this morning, even though she wasn't feeling good, tidying this front room. Uh, look at the state of it. Look Roy at the state of it, guys. Right, Araya messed it up. I think we all messed it up, bruh. No, it wasn't me. Guys, I've got a, a feeling the spring is coming. Spring has sprung. Does it feel warm out there? 
Quick, you better come in before Kimmy comes. Quick, 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 quick. quick get, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, so as soon as Araya sees an open door, she's gone. She was about to get out of here. But yeah, guys, it is a beautiful day. It's like end of February, nearly March. That means that this month... <laughs> I'm doing that way too often on camera these days, guys. I don't know, maybe it's part of getting older. But anyway, forget that ever happened. I was just saying, guys, it's nearly March. It's nearly the month that spring starts. How amazing is that? It's amazing for me anyway. You guys might not really care too much, but you know how we do on this channel. Tommy D's weather channel. Look at that beautiful view, guys. Tommy D, learn the weather. Look at the beautiful view, look at the beautiful sunshine. And anyway, so oh, guys. what are you doing, bruh? Bruh. Let's go see how long. Oh, that takes some good core and shoulder strength to hold that. Guys, look, come. I don't really want to show everyone our messy kitchen. Guys. Yeah. I can throw up. I can climb up here, you know. Uh. Okay. All right. Let's get this little one out of the way first. Oh, them. Come on and let's see then. Please don't hurt yourself. Look, guys. Please don't hurt yourself. Do it like this. And then... Oh, that's how you do it on the washing machine. That old. See, I'm on top of the counter. Wow. And then you get out. You get out like this. Wow. And guys, look. It's getting big. Look, guys. <laughs> well, that's you see. That's that is more of a skill because you're using a little bit of like chest and tricep strength to do that. So that is quite a skill, I'm more impressed with that. Anyway, where's, what's going on? What, what, what are you doing, Rai Rai? What are you doing? the best and longest walk we've ever caught Kimmy on camera and again I've got to say I'm so sorry for this mess guys please don't judge us we've got very 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 hectic lives um, we've been out all weekend we've got a lot going on I can bore you to tears of excuses but yeah we do need to have a good spring clean as it's nearly spring no pun intended and now Araya has just got hold of our microphone it's all go guys, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna be quick anyway. This, I was literally gonna gonna um just start recording a little quick segment just to update you guys on Sharon and all chaos broke loose. So Sharon, guys, she's still at the hospital, it's now like uh it's five o'clock. It's five o'clock in the evening. It's five five to five. Or four minutes away. Uh we dropped her off at ten o'clock this morning, but we dropped her off at ten o'clock this morning and it's five o'clock now and she's still not home, but She's actually in a cab on her way home. So, uh, basically, kind of good news in that she had some bloods done. She did, they did her bloods, and the bloods come back as being normal. So, they're, we're a little bit more confident there's nothing too serious or worrying going on. Uh, the bloods are, are pretty much normal, but the only bad thing is she couldn't see a gynecologist. She saw a doctor. Um, and they said, uh, basically said they, they'd like to go back for a second opinion from a gynecologist. So I'm not, guys, I'm not going to go into too much detail because it's like, you know, it's all personal stuff to Sharon. So I'm not, uh, yeah, but she will be back anyway. She's in her way on a taxi. She just said stay at home with the kids and she'll get a taxi home. So you will see her soon. I've got to make some food for her because she says she's hungry. And yeah, she's just desperate to eat. So I'm going to get cooking. All right, what is up, guys? So... Look who we got back in the building. Hi guys. Oh Shazzy D. Yeah, right. Isn't it Kimmy? <laughs> yeah, hi guys. Say hi. Anyway, I gotta go and see your food. So say hi. Say hi. hi. She said it quite close. Uh, hi. <laughs> oh, that's a nice song. <laughs> and we got yeah, so a little bit inconclusive. Sharon's got to go back to the gynecologist tomorrow. Um but yeah, we, we feel a little bit reassured anyway, don't we? Well, well I do. I don't know about I you. It's obviously your I'll body. I'll be reassured by tomorrow when I go back and they can examine me better. Okay, I guess so. All right. 
So, all right, guys, so we'll, we'll leave it at that. You know, obviously, it's like, it's quite a personal thing we're talking about. So, um, if if you don't hear any news, like, obviously, it's good news from us. We're probably not going to be, we weren't gonna, we're not going to put everything out there, but no news is good news. So, I'm, I'm sure, like, I'm sure everything's fine with Sharon. I'm sure it's, I don't know why she's in so much pain, but I'm sure it's nothing serious to worry about. So, all right, guys, so we started, we said we're going to bring back the shout outs. So I've literally just opened up my YouTube studio app um, and I've looked at some comments from the last video, not short, but the last full video we did. And we're going to give a special shout out to Rose, Rose Young. Young. We just, your, your comment just popped up. Um, we <laughs> scroll for a few. So shout out to you, Rose Young. Thank you so much for your kind comment on the last video. Um, yeah, we appreciate you so much. We'll keep trying to shout out people like we used to on every video. We're going to go try and go back to that, guys, because, you know, I wish we could shout everyone out. Yeah, I wish we could, yeah. like, reach out to everyone personally. Obviously, we can't do that, but I just want you guys to know how grateful for, we are for the support. Exactly. Like, extremely grateful. It's like, we've got a lot of people that show us a lot of love, so That's we're just very humbled and we're very, yeah. So the least we can do is at least, like, you know, pick some names at random and just show some love back to you guys. Cheers, Cheers mate. Cheers, mate.